Perfect. Hi, and welcome back to the first episode of Hey Alexio, it's trending in 2021. Going into a new year, I thought that it would be fun to look back on trends in the last decade and cover some of the best ones, and even try to make some predictions of my own for ones we might see in 2021. Let's rewind and kick things off with a blast from the past. With all the new music that comes out every year, obviously there's gonna be one or two viral sensations in there. For example, Gangnam Style, Baby Shark, What Is The Fox Say, and Old Town Road, just to name a few. But the one that I wanna remind you of brings us back to 2012 when the movie Pitch Perfect came out. It goes a little something like this. When I'm gone, when I'm gone, I haven't done that in a while. The cup song was everywhere. Kids and adults were all trying to learn it. It's like a TikTok challenge before TikTok challenges were even a thing. Speaking of challenges, a big challenge in 2014 that you might remember is the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. This challenge was originally created by Pete Freights and Pat Quinn. Unfortunately, Pete passed away in 2019 and Pat passed away in 2020. Both had ALS, and the goal of this challenge was to raise awareness to the disease and also raise money for the research. Everyone and their mother was dumping the ice cold water onto themselves and nominating their friends to do the same. You might remember some of your favorite celebrities taking part of this challenge. Kim Kardashian, Taylor Swift, One Direction, I got to One Direction's fans, Bill Gates, and even Kermit the Frog. <sighs> The ALS Ice Bucket Challenge proved that social media can really bring people together, but it can also tear people apart, like dun dun dun, the dress. The dress in question went viral after a woman named Cecilia Bleasdale posted it on her Facebook. What color does it look like to you? Some people see it as blue and black, while others see it as white and gold. Everyone was debating this on social media, even celebrities popped in to give their opinions. Not to be controversial, but I personally see it as blue and black. Uh, no, it's definitely white and gold. What? Who even are you? I'm trying to film a video. Get out of here. Okay, rude. Anyways, back to past trends. Do you guys remember the shoot, Orange Justice, dabbing, and of course, the floss. Yeah, no one's catching me doing the floss on camera ever. Can you pull up a clip of that? Let's go! You might recognize this dance from Fortnite, but the original creator's name is Russell Horning. You might also know him as the Backpack Kid. The floss started to trend in 2017, and Russell was even invited onto Saturday Night Live with Katy Perry to perform the dance. There's even been a song to come out about it, and it's like, I'd be flossing. <laughs> and there's been some complications with him and Fortnite. The legal drama is about whether Fortnite had the rights to use the dance in their game or not. Talking about drama and dances, a similar issue is happening on TikTok. It's an ongoing conversation about crediting the original creators of these dances. We saw this with one of the most popular dances, Renegade. The Renegade was a huge thing in the beginning of 2020. It was even performed at the NBA All-Star Games. The original creator of the dance is a 14-year-old girl named Jalea Harmon, but not many people knew that. So shout out to you, Jalea. You started one of the biggest trends of 2020. Back to 2021 and the trends that we might see this year. But before I make my predictions, let's talk to an expert. I decided to call up Jim Carroll, a Canadian futurist, whose job it is to predict future trends based off what's happened in the past. Futurist sounds like such a cool like job names tell me a little bit about exactly what a futurist is well i, I study the future I, I found myself falling into this very odd career in which i've been advising organizations like nasa disney the world bank um burger king you name it uh, global organizations on trends what comes next what's going to happen in our world so i'm going to go over back to my desk uh so we can continue uh talking and uh, bring myself through the uh, spaceship here. And you know, you're you're talking about memes, and it's it's absolutely fascinating because that's all part of uh, what is driving our world of trends today. What makes the big trends become these super big trends and get spread everywhere? It's part of this connectivity, and people 
use memes um, simply to drive humor. In other cases, um, you know, the Ice Bucket Challenge, for example, we want to feel good about our role in the world. We want to give back. We're all, on, all in this complex COVID world. We're all trying to cope every day. We're all trying to um, get in a headspace we can survive this. And so we are drawn to humor, little diversions uh, of time that help us to get through. TikTok itself has become a meme generating machine. TikTok videos are really short. They're 20 seconds, 30 seconds. They, they um, aligned to the fact that our attention spans have disappeared. Do you have any tips for me for predicting trends in 2021? You've got to track a lot of offbeat people. I think the challenge is a lot of people read information and follow information of people who are just like them. The more offbeat information you follow, the better. Become an information sponge, just an open mind and realizing that the world you're going to be in 10 years is not going to look anything like it does today. Jim had a lot of good advice for me to predict some future trends, so let me give this a try. I took Jim's advice and researched what's going to happen in 2021, like scheduled events, and I took a look at what's happening in the world right now. US politics has been trending everywhere for the first few weeks of 2021. Joe Biden is getting sworn in soon as president, so are we gonna see a resurgence of the Biden-Obama romance? Are we gonna find out more about Joe Biden's mystery grandson? The Super Bowl and the Olympics are also this year. Are we gonna get some memes with the weekend's performance like we did last year with Shakira and the weird tongue thing? And with all the social justice campaigns that we saw in 2020, will that message be spread at the Olympics? Well, I guess we'll have to check back at the end of 2021 to see if any of my predictions were correct. But until then, happy new year. It can only go up from here, right? Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you back here in the next episode of Hey Alexio, What's Trending?